I mean. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. I must have accidentally hit the button that caused my scene to change. I didn't actually mean to switch over yet. That's why it was quiet and you couldn't hear me because I wasn't even saying anything. I was just messing around with chat and uh, waiting for the, the pre-roll ad to finish up and shit. So my bad, man, must have hit the wrong button, but it's fine. We're here now playing some Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. I'm sure it's gonna be a great game. Uh, I guess we'll see. So far, no one has rated this one as a want to finish game. Y'all are gonna feel so dumb when this ends up being the best game in the world. <laughs> I actually know like nothing about it, which I mean is, you know, par for the course, honestly. But the cover art looks kind of cool. I guess. I have no idea if it's gonna be any good though. Hordes of vile monsters terrorize innocent villagers. You are Anna, the Dark Angel of Retribution. You have one year to defeat the armies of the Shadow Lord. Collect an arsenal of powerful weapons to banish evil from the land forever. Do you have what it takes? It could end up being good. Who knows, man? Wait, did... Help us! Oh, shit. Am I dying? Uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's a weapon. This is, or an attack. This is a different attack. So we have 148 shells, I guess, for our gun. Um, yeah, right into the action. I know. I'm a bit, I'm a bit thrown off by it too, honestly. Uh, and then we have our sword. Uh, whatever the hell a triangle is. Uh, was that a jump? Was that a special attack? What was that? Why are we just jumping like fucking madmen, dude? What's this? That must be block? I'm assuming that's block. <laughs> yeah, Nate. Nate's the only one that died in that, dude. Everyone else got a payout, but Nate got screwed. <laughs> the game just obviously doesn't like you, man. Or, uh, the, the, the streamlabs slot. Like. Okay. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit because it's kind of quiet. Um, for one thing, and for two, is this a Diablo-like? Is that what this is supposed to be? A Diablo-like game, but for, for console? Okay, what do we have? We have different areas that we may be able to go to. We have options. Can we change anything? Health bars, audio? No, there's like no options at all. Okay. Necropolis level one. Hum. Badlands. Lost City. Rygard, which I think is where it told us to go. Frozen Waste, Ancient Forest, West Haven. Tanglewood. Okay. It's a game. Apparently, we're in 1670 right now. So, you know, this is old as shit. Uh, there's our menu. Or our, our inventory. I mean, we have a bomb. Leather armor, boots, bracer. Equip to increase defense. Activate to block. Health potion. A mace. I thought that was like a magic wand or something. Uh, bonus damage to Forgotten, Crush, Titan, and Slayer. What? Bonus damage to Undead, Pierce, Vampires, and Ghouls. This is automatically used by Firearms. Ooze, Magical Resource. Crystals, Gems, etc., etc. Okay, well, hopefully at some point it tells us something about the game. Because <laughs> I have no idea what the hell is going on right now. Oh, randomly there's music again. Does that mean we're doing something good? Something bad? I have no idea. You voted a middle one for 3,000? I was wondering what madman voted 3,000. Tome of Knowledge, Power Level 0. Seek the Potent Candle to gain enlightenment. Okay, can we talk to Brody? Is this a... This is a shop. Okay, we have 475 gold. Guard boots? Resist melee 9%? Is that better than what we have? Activate to jump. Uh, it doesn't say how much armor, though. Uh... <laughs> okay, what about what about you? Smith? Smithy? Smith? Vampire sword. Bonus damage to mutants. And then some basic potions. Yep, well, I mean, we're good on all that. So, do we just go to the menu and leave? I guess we do. There's flags in these areas. So let's go to one of the flagged areas, I guess. Okay, yeah. See, the, the time's progressing as we travel. 
We got this. Oh, God, Brody is ugly as fuck. Dude, don't be mean to Brody. Brody's doing the best he can, man. Thought vamps were supposed to be hot. Not always. <laughs> depends, depends on the vampire story, man. This dude's a giant. So quick. <laughs> this dude's name is so quick, dude. He gonna die so quick. Okay, so... I don't know... Is it a vamp or a vampire like? Is it a is it a Diablo like? I thought it was, but now that I'm playing it, it seems more I don't know like trash. Uh, <laughs> they're so ugly. Look, as long as it's not Twilight, I'll be okay with it. Fair, honestly, I get that. What about the the gun? Will the gun do anything? The gun doesn't seem to be doing. Oh, okay, it's doing some damage. Probably shouldn't use all of the ammo though. Jenkins, get in here and murder this dude with me, man. So quick needs his ass kick. What's wrong with Twilight? It's uh, it's a movie. That's 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 all. Quest complete. Research plus two. Is there no story or anything though? <laughs> like, dude, we're just <laughs> we just keep being thrown into these little tiny towns with nothing but monsters, a couple couple random NPCs, occasional rock music, and that's it. That's that's all we're getting. All right, is this gonna tell us anything? Golden statue. Seek the power ore to become mighty. Okay. Is that a hint? Breaking my twi heart? What? <laughs> Your twi heart? Oh, noodle. I love you. Quest. Battle. What? <laughs> that's that's all you gotta say? Just quest. Battle. Sure, except quest. Do battle in Badlands. Destroy all enemies for plus four research. Okay, I mean, I see no reason not to take it. Does anything bad happen if we don't complete it? Scythe, some minor health potions. I mean, we still have that full health potion. I think we'll be okay for now. I guess we just continue forward. Um, okay. Sure. Dude, I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on with this fucking game. Monsters 100. Holy hell. That seems like a lot. <laughs> I don't know how well the, the sound is coming through for the game itself. I hope it's coming through okay. Because it is terrible. <laughs> There's like nothing, man. <laughs> it is so bad. So is there, like, just no story? Yeah, basically. I mean, that's what it seems like, at least. We were thrown directly into the game. And other than other than a single quest that we found from a random NPC to just do battle, like, <laughs> that's, that's all we got so far, man. We need to do battle here at the Badlands. If we kill everything, we get plus four research. I don't know what the research is for, but if we kill everything, we get a bonus to it. So... It must be good, right? Also, uh, I kind of regret not buying extra potions now just because I didn't know there were going to be, like, hordes of enemy here. No, I thought it would be, like, a couple enemies, not a hundred. Okay, I don't even know how to use items, man. Do we... Oh, oh! Whoa, okay. Whatever button we press... It goes there. Okay, so we wanna we wanna put our our sabers level one. Bonus damage to undead, pierce vampires and ghouls. Bonus damage to undead, pierce. But do they have the same amount of damage output? Because in that case, I just use the one that looks cooler. Crush Titan and Slayer. Maybe we put that there. Kind of sucks that we can't just like swap items on the fly. I mean, you guys are titans, right? I'm assuming. So we probably want to have different kind of items, one for one, one for each type. Main character cutie. <laughs> uh. Oh shit! We forgot the potion. Potion quick. <laughs> We're good. Everything's fine. Are you a titan? Do we want to crush you or do we want to stab you? I don't know. You look like a titan or something, though. You're you're big. You look stony, kind of. So, sure, we'll just smash you with a mace repeatedly. Are these guys just spawning forever? Like, we're not moving forward. Why do more monsters keep going over here, man? I cannot deal with these big waves. 
I just want like one dude at a time, please. I didn't I did not sign up for this. I thought this was gonna be like some one-on-one -on -one action, not not a party thing, you know? I do kinda like having multiple weapons that you can use and, and then just use it like a different button to, to attack with one or the other whatever that's nice i do appreciate that but it, it sucks that like all of our consumables and everything are mapped to one of those four buttons even our even our ability to jump and, and block right it's like the only way we can block is by using our bracers for some reason <laughs> like oh do we have a special move we're gonna die there you go, we're good. So if we hold square, yeah, look at that. We do like, we do a special move. Does the same thing happen with square? It does. We just stab repeatedly. Okay, that's neat, I guess. It's a thing. He likes multiple quote unquote weapons. Yeah, multiple quote unquote weapons, but not multiple quote unquote monsters. Or whatever the hell these things are. I didn't sign up for that, man. Oh, we're out of we're out of our uh, mana ability points, stamina. I don't know what it is. Oh, we got we got bitten by by Bowser, dude. Bowser bit our ass. Oh, now there's suddenly music. Nope, it's gone. <laughs> there was music for a moment, and then it left us. I don't. Uh, I don't know why the music just like plays a tiny bit and then just dies. It's weird as shit, dude. Which sucks because the music actually does sound decent when it's playing, but it never wants to play. Who is summoning all this fire? I don't appreciate all the fire, dude. Also, I don't know whose idea... It was to like, hey, you know what would be fun mechanic? Just just throw a hundred weak ass monsters that are tanky at the player. That's what that's what every player of every video game wants to deal with, right? We all know Roman loves metal. Yeah. <laughs> so is it is it the big dude? Is the big dude summoning fire? Are there more big dudes? There must be more coming over here somewhere. We're definitely going to need more potions, though. We do not have that many. Are these these bags? Do they have like actual items inside them, or are they just giving us money? Ow! We're we're on the ground. Okay, we're on the ground again. There we go. Okay, items. Yeah, the bags must just be giving us money because we don't have shit. Defend Rygard Assault. Cobb, the level 2 crawler. Plus 3 in military. Well, what's the point of plus 3 in military? What does that do for me? I'm so confused. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't know the point of anything that we're doing, man. We were just thrown in here and, and expected to do things with no explanation. I guess we should drink the potion because we're, we're damn near dead. We're, we're about halfway through the monsters. The, the thing I wonder is what happens if we leave? If we leave, do we do we lose all of our progress here? Can we even leave while we're in the middle of a, of a fight? I have no idea, man. See, when, it, when I thought it was going to be a Diablo-like, I was actually kind of excited. I like Diablo games, or Diablo-like games, right? That could have been a fun time. And it seems almost like that's what they were going for, but they didn't know how to make one <laughs> or something. I don't know. So we ended up with we ended up with this instead. Get wrecked, dudes. Oh, and we're on the ground. <laughs> I think it I think it messed up a little bit there, man. Uh, okay, we're we're gonna die, so what happens if we just run? Is there like some some somewhere we're trying to get here? Or is our whole point of coming here just to murder stuff? Because unless there's a healing thing somewhere or something, I think we're going to have to leave. 
Can we just run forever? Hello, game? Does it ever end? No, there's the end. Okay. And, yeah, dudes are just, like, flocking to us no matter where we go. Okay, yeah. So we're, we're gonna have to leave. We're gonna die. Uh, go back to... Hom. Why not? Wait, 1670? I thought we were in the 1700s. I must have misread it. Uh, do one of you have healing potions? You have bombs, bullets. I don't need any of that junk. I need health, please. You research new ways to defeat the monsters. Okay. Agatha has minor healing potions. We will buy them, I guess. Thanks, Agatha. What is this? Another quest. Rescue. I hate how it doesn't even tell us the quest. We just have to <laughs> we just have to take it before we even know what the hell it is or does. That's good. That's good game design right there. Rescue from frozen waste. Save Paladine Fruleria and Melike. Plus one, three, or five military. So I'm assuming if we save one, we get one. If we save two, we get three, and then five if we save all of them. That makes sense. What does the scythe do? How is that better? Bonus damage to the forgotten. Carves Dragu and Hunters. Okay. That's that's what that does. What like do any of the random NPCs? I'll be strong like you when I grow up. Do you give us excuse me, any hint to to what the hell is going on here? Required to research new ways of defeating monsters. No, you tell us absolutely nothing. Excellent. Level three, equip to increase defense. Equip to increase defense. Oh, so we weren't wearing armor before. Okay, well, I guess I guess we are now. That's nice. <clears throat> that increases our armor too. So does that, I'm assuming? <clears throat> oh, I didn't mean to put that there. <clears throat> so how do we... So is it only like the, the chain stuff? I guess so. Only that stuff can be equipped there. Okay, that's fine. Fine, I guess. These are both level one, so it doesn't really matter which one we use. I think we can just use whichever one we prefer. Um, and then put boots here for more defense. What do the crystals do? Ghostly powers is trapped within the crystal, so we don't know what it does. But it's called a neck crystal, so I'm assuming some sort of necromancy bullshit. And then the ooze. Mutant secrets hide within the ooze. Uh, okay, sure. So, go back to the Badlands. Let's see if everything respawned or if we just pick up from where we left off. We pick up from where we left off. So, wait. We can leave at any time, right? And the <laughs> and progress saves. Uh, where exactly is the challenge again? And it seems like we heal over time as we're, we're traveling around on the map. Presumably, we have much more defense now because we actually equipped something to, to help our defense and a couple items. I still don't understand the point of jumping. Like, does that... Is, are, are there going to be platforming challenges? Are we going to need to jump at some point? And suddenly, giant wave of enemies! Why would you want, like, interesting uh, layouts and, and dungeons or, or towns that are open and you can walk around and, and cool, cool NPCs to talk to when you can just go to a giant open field and fight the same six enemies over and over again? <laughs> oh, God. Maybe you got it now? Maybe you got, got what? 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 What'd you get? Oh god. Oh god, we are we are much closer to dying than I realized. Uh okay, it's fine. Catch gotcha. <laughs> it is not working for you, man. You are not allowed to catch him. Oh, we only have two. I was hoping it was like two sets of potions, not like two potions total. Honestly. <laughs> Uh, but it's fine. Everything's fine. Are there time limits on the, the quests, I wonder? You want a cat jam? Is cat jam... I'm assuming that's an emote, right? Do you need to... 
<laughs> doing a heist with your last nine points. Uh, who wants to join Nate's heist, man? Help help fund his uh, his recovery mission here. Um, anyways, I'm assuming it's an emote, yes? So then, are you subscribed to the right person, or is that meant to be a global emote? If we level up, I think we get full health, so I'm hoping we make level up. That'd be nice. I gotta join the heist. I gotta, I gotta help my mans out. Also, yeah, I think Cat Jam must be one that you need to be like subscribed to a, to a specific person or something. Uh, heist. Four hundred and twenty. Why not? Your message is red, what happened? Do you mean like on your own screen? Cause it's not red on my screen. If, if something adds you, I think it uh, it highlights you specifically. Not according to Google. Well, uh, one way that you can, if you're on desktop, one way that you can search Twitch for different emotes is um, you can press the colon key, right? And then start typing in something and it'll show you all the, the emotes that you have that match what you're typing. And Cat Jam doesn't pop up as an option, at least for me. So maybe Cat Jam was one that they had and got rid of. Or maybe it is a paid one. Or maybe it's uh, like one of the Twitch extensions. Although I thought I had both the Twitch extensions enabled for my, both on Twitch itself and for uh, my my chat view and, and, and on the stream itself, but you know people have been using it? I don't know, man. I know nothing. I know nothing, Jon Snow. Hey, Nate, you actually got some back. Actually, everyone did that time. You're up to what? So you, <laughs> you put forward nine or something like that, and you got uh, 20. So there you go. And you instantly gamble them away. But you won. You got 60 points. You're going to be back to <laughs> back to full in no time, man. You got this. Um, so do we heal if we just if we just travel between Hom and back? Are we going to heal? Uh, okay, well that didn't heal us at least. Jenkins, do you have any health potions yet? No, you do have a new pistol though. Uh, we don't want that. Agatha, you got you got health potions? You do. So is it just every time I come here, you have two? Because it'd be really nice if we could get more than two. I'm not going to lie. Uh, What if we go to West Haven? Necropolis doesn't sound like a good place to go. <laughs> Let's go to West Haven. I'm assuming West Haven will be safe. It's a haven after all. Plus, we you know murdered a bunch of people here. Please accept this gold as a symbol of our gratitude. Well, thank you. I will gladly take your gold, my dude. Rob? <laughs> that's that's not a command, man. <laughs> the recent monster attacks are hurting the economy. A brave champion like you can do a lot to raise confidence. No, you can't rob or commit crime. <laughs> the beasts are stronger at night. Good to know. If I ever get around to making my own bot, which I plan on one of these days, I will make sure to add extra commands for you guys. <laughs> Someone's getting desperate. Oh, God. And we can hear these monsters. Hopefully, by the time we get here, it'll be like daylight. 9.36, 11. Oh, I have no idea what time we actually got here. You were just seeing if any other commands did work, honestly. Honestly, I am kind of surprised that they that they don't have like more options and randomization and stuff to their bot. I'm guessing maybe it's like to save resources or something on on Streamlabs side. I don't know. It's like the the heist one. It's a lot of fun. Don't get me wrong, but it's weird that it seems like it's the the same scenario every single time. Like they could have it randomly display a different message each time someone plays it or something. Instead of it just always being the same thing. I'm not positive, but I think you spelled except wrong, my dude. Oh my god, I've become one of those guys. I don't even like my dude. It's like someone who starts saying bruh ironically and now just can't stop saying it. That's gonna be me now. You, 
You don't have to. No, you're just spelling except wrong, my guy. <laughs> That's no better. Damn. <laughs> don't say that either. Oh, I suck. Oh, nope. I didn't want to go to option. Control scheme. Weird. Oh, wait, no, you didn't spell it wrong. Why isn't it working for you? Oh, you know what? Maybe they're trying to, to duel you for too much? Yeah, yeah, no, you are typing it right. You are right. I just saw that. I just glanced over and it wasn't working, so I was like, oh, maybe he's typing it wrong. But no, you're, you're typing it right. Maybe you just don't have enough points left to duel? I don't know, man. Trying to say something, bro? What do you mean? Did I say something? Wait, do you say my guy and oh, you said bro after after the the thing? Oh, is it because you didn't type a number? Maybe, maybe you broke the bot. <laughs> I really do need to get around to just make my own one of these days. It wouldn't even take that long, man. All I gotta do is look up the the how to uh, connect to Twitch chat make a bot account on Twitch and, and that's it. It would be like a couple hours of programming, but I, I'm one lazy and two have like no time in life. <laughs> you save my guy all the time. I <laughs> just used to yell at my brother for it. Specifically my dude. My dude bothers me more than my guy, but I don't know why. I just don't I just don't like those terms. Terms? Sayings. Words? I don't know. Alright, well as far as I can tell there's nothing else to do here other than literally murdering everyone. But we completed the quest, so do we need to come back here? Oh, wants to do you? Do you have 200 points? I bet you you don't have 200 points now, though. What'd the other one say? The other one was for nothing. Yeah, you only have 52 points. So what if I say duel? Uh, Nate, A-L-I-S-T-E-R, 96, for 52. Do you already have a duel initiated? Please cancel it. Ah! <laughs> Who tried to duel me? And I missed. There you go. Duel, Nate, A-L-I-S-T-E-R, 96, 52. God damn it. <laughs> what do you mean it might be on my side? How would the cat jam not working possibly be on my side? I don't control the emotes, man. <laughs> the emotes are all on Twitch's side. It's 37 seconds past yet. Oh my... I'll be strong like you when I grow up. No, you won't. Please accept this gold as a token of our gratitude. Okay, so whenever we complete quests, we do need... We do need to go back. There you go. Try accepting that one, Nate. Maybe that one will work. Maybe. I don't know. You did all the steps for the extension. It should be working now. Even then... There you go. I took your points. <laughs> so yeah, the problem I think was that uh, you just didn't have enough points to do the other one. Uh, but even with with like the ones that require extensions, um, like it'll only appear on your screen. It won't appear on anyone else's unless they also have the extension. So. What are these things, dude? These things are... <laughs> Try, trying to get a crew together with your two points. Oh, you poor guy. I feel so bad for you. Military plus three. I, I, I completed a quest? Guys, I completed a quest. I don't know what quest I completed. I just came in and fucked up some monsters. But apparently we did good. I'm assuming all these stones in the different town are, uh, like, things that we need to collect. Like, one of them said something about a key or something like that, and then other ones said other things. So I'm assuming if we collect all this, the, the stuff, we'll, we'll power up in various ways. I don't know what kind of weapon's best for you. Are you, are you a crawler? Maybe I need a scythe? Hmm. 
Yeah, because Google says, oh, you think you only added it to your channel? Yeah, I think I think that's what happened too. Because that's the way extensions work, right? Like on my side, I personally have the uh, uh, Twitch. Oh man, I forget the name of the extension. I have a Twitch extension on my personal channel. And then on the Streamlabs chatbot here, I have Franker Z and the other one. Better Twitch TV. Yeah, 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 yeah. Both of those should be enabled for the Streamlabs bot, but, um, oh, uh, heist, uh, da, 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 500. There you go. I joined the heist. My bad. <laughs> All right. We got some new people to talk to. I'm more curious on what this is, though. Life Chalice. Power level zero. Seek the life seed to gain life force. Yeah, dude. Remember the old days when the heroes of Rygar defeated the warlords and brought peace to the land? Isn't Rygar a uh, Nintendo game? Mm. Fierce Broadsword. Forgotten Bane 24%? What? Wait, that costs gold and ooze? <laughs> you died again, dude. Bonus damage to mutants, chop crawler, and evolved. Quick to increase defense. Can we even afford this stuff? We can. Uh, honestly, though, I'm more curious about getting some some potions. I feel that we lack the number to raise a campaign against the monsters. Uh, you just need to believe, dude. Nate is not having a good time here. No, he is not. Can you actually, like, give people points? I don't think that's a thing that you can do. Give... Nate, Alistair, 96, 200. Nope, maybe the same thing, but gift. I mean, I could also just look it up real quick on my thing, but nope. <laughs> have to see if you have these emotes on better Twitch TV. Do I have that enabled right now? Let me check real quick. Uh, settings. Uh, da -da extensions for myself again it'll only work for me i do have better twitch tv enabled for myself but it's not popping up the stuff that you're typing um better twitch tv copy mode better twitch tv log in to add to your chat oh Oh, do you need to add different ones? I don't know. I might need to mess around with better Twitch TV. I don't know. Check if you have the emotes I'm typing. Cat Jam should be the first one when you click on the tab on the website. Yeah, well, I'm not logged in to better Twitch TV. Hold on. Logging in. Um, okay, home. I already have it downloaded. I don't know why it's telling me to download it. twitchtv.com I have it downloaded. Why are you telling me to download it? Emotes. Top emotes. Cat jam. Add to channel. There you go. It's added to channel. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work now, but cat jam is added to channel. I honestly, like I said, I've never used better Twitch TV as a uh, streamer. So yeah, no, I definitely, I clicked the thing. It's added to channel. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I'll have to. I'll have to mess with better Twitch TV more at some point. So level one. I'm assuming the places that have levels are areas that we can actually like explore and maybe go deeper in, and the rest of the places are just like towns that we can save. Let's go. Let's go to Tanglewood, I guess. I don't know. Do we need to not waste time? Thanks for trying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I honestly don't know why it's not working. Uh, Here we go. Better Twitch TV emotes not working. You may need to re-toggle the emote menu setting in the better Twitch TV settings. Uh... Okay, so 
Twitch chat settings. So chat settings, better Twitch TV settings. Channel points, got it, okay. Auto expand channels, no. Channel settings, theater mode, click to play, dark modes turned on. Player extensions and crime promotions are all turned on. Ooh, okay. That's the emote tab, which it says that I have that one enabled. Um, what's this button do? That's the change log. You have no idea, man. I definitely have, unless it, maybe it takes time to, to activate or propagate or something. I don't know, but <laughs> another war, Rue v. Twitch. Yeah, that's a that's a never ending war there, dude. What the hell was that sound? That sounded like a horse neighing or something. What's a, a prip war? Okay, this weapon doesn't seem to be doing shit to the prip war. Do I need? <laughs> I think I might need a different kind of weapon to fight these things, dude. I'm dead. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we'll find out what happens when you die, I guess. Oh, no. Did we... Okay, no. We respawned at the last town we were in, but we lost some time, I think? Wait, hold on. Cat Jam. I... <laughs> oh, did it work for you? See, it still didn't pop up for me, but I guess as long as it popped up for you, that's nice. I don't know. Let me check stream labs. It worked on your end. Well, that's good. I thought I could have swore that it was enabled on the Streamlabs chat viewer thing that I use, though. So, let's go to all widgets. Uh, credits, polls, labels, alert box, goals, where, chat box. Enable better Twitch TV emotes, yeah. Yeah, it's enabled. Huh. Oh, that cleared it. My bad. <laughs> you had to reload. That makes sense. Uh... Yeah, it's still not working on the, the chatbot, though. I don't know. Or not the chatbot, the chat viewer. I don't know what's up with that. Hopefully, it'll just start working over time or something. Oh, wait. Jam is in all caps. I misspelled. Okay. Okay. Well, it seems to be working now. I don't know why. I did have it enabled. I, for some reason, didn't have Franker Z and the uh, the other one enabled. Though. Uh, seven, seven something. I forget the, the name of it. The other Twitch extension. But I went ahead and enab enabled Franker Z and the other one, though, since I didn't for whatever got off the reason. The man's very happy right now. That's good, man. Whatever that is, that looks creepy. I say we just let that thing live, dude. <laughs> we don't we don't want none of that smoke, okay? Bones damage to mutants. Slice biomechs and what? Special attack steals health? That sounds cool. So vampire sword? Yeah, we'll take that. So sabers, vampire sword. Oh. All these things having having like bonus damage to different weapons is so weird. It breaks my brain. You're the best for putting up with my bullshit. Uh, I mean, I, I really don't feel like I did much, but you're welcome, dude. Is that the cat they had different songs? Yes. Yes, it is. That is the one. The only. So, how do we... I think we just hold X to activate the special attack. Oh, that does steal health. That's actually very cool, man. I would gladly take that. Oh, you know what? I, Whenever I added Franker Z support and whatever the other one is, um, it reloaded the, the chat box. So I wonder if I had to add it to my channel and then reload better Twitch or reload the, the chat thing to get it to work. And that's why it's working on, on, on screen now where it wasn't before. I bet you that's what's up, dude. So I had to go through. Uh, I had to go through better Twitch TV and actually pick out some decent ones. Then 
any requests other than obviously Cat Jam because, come on, everyone wants some Cat Jam in their life. Don't die, don't die, don't die. We're fine. Everything is fine. There's only 11 monsters left. We got this. <laughs> Dancing Pug and Hug Guy. All right. We might add those ones too. I have to look through the list and see what I what I like. I think we get, I think it said 15 that we get a that we get to have at one time. So, like we can have we can have a few. Bruh, that life steal is so good. That heals like half of our health. That's not bad at all, dude. I will take it. I would appreciate it if you guys actually just stayed back instead of fighting, because I'm kind of supposed to be saving you. Um, but if you die, I probably won't get all the points. So, yep, you're dead. <laughs> Why did you not just stay back? Military plus one. We must have only saved one dude. Uh, we suck. This one. The one that's just laying on the ground not doing anything. Excellent. So is there anything else for us to do here? Is that it? We, we fought the dudes, we killed the dudes, we saved one guy. GG, I guess. Game. Okay, that must be, the white dot must be the entrance then. That's the, that's the top of the map. This is a really big map for it to be completely empty. All right, well, <laughs> I guess we'll go back to... West Haven? Question mark? No, who? I think Hom. I think Hom is where we got the, the thing for that, so. You're gonna do your review now. Story is 0 out of 10, combat's 4 out of 10, music is 15 out of 10. Hell yeah, dude. Uh, no, you. People of Hom work hard to research, blah, 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 whatever. Jenkins! Do you have anything cool? You have a new quest. Except. The level 8 biomech. Um, yeah, so stay the hell away from Rygard. That's <laughs> that's what he's saying. Because we do not have... <laughs> we do not have the ability to fight that, I feel like. Scythe level 5. Um, okay, can we sell stuff to you? We can. Yes, yeah, sell that. We'll keep a saber, I guess. I like that one. Wait, no, don't sell that. Keep the vampire sword for sure. It's a level three mace. That one's a lot better than the one that we have there. Oh, we got better bracers. Okay, so sell that. Do, do, uh, yes, sell. Do not sell minor health potion. Sell the regular level ar leather armor. Sell the level three leather armor. Uh, sell the level one boots. I think. Wait, are you a mace? You are. Sell that too, then. Okay, and we'll buy a scythe just in case that's useful for something, and sell everything else. Now we need to equip. So mace goes there, sword goes there. You go there. Although the bracers equipped to increase defense, activate to block. I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just change weapons. We can pause at any time, right? So that setup? Sure. This looks like a decent enough setup. Although, with that said, I guess it would be better to equip the boots. And again, just whenever we're about to die, equip that and then use it. Why can you not just use stuff from this screen? Why does, it, why does inventory have to be stupid? Anyways, guys, it has been an hour. So we're going to take a quick break. And while we're doing that, I'm probably going to look through some of the uh, better Twitch TV emotes. And then we'll be right back to uh, try and figure out what the hell is going on in this game. Because I don't know. Even a little bit. <laughs> we'll be right back. At least it didn't, like, pop on you or anything, right? It's a little bit low air pressure. It's not the end of the world. Unless uh, unless it, like, starts to rub or something. Or, or you know, you start hitting the, the rim off the ground or something like that, then it would be a bigger issue. But as long as you're staying off the ground and your tires aren't rubbing, then, you know, you should be okay. <laughs> 
the game is super cute, at least from like a graphical standpoint. Uh, Piglet's a little bit of a creep, just going into random people's dreams here. Spying on them with a spyglass, you know? We're in per Pooh's mind right now, hence all the food. Got this uh, Candyland theme here going on, it looks like, with, with cake and candy and some cream and all kinds of uh, sweets. I mean, I think it's safe to assume this game was probably made for children, right? Like, before we even see the game or really play it, I, I think it's probably safe to assume it was made for children. Considering the source material, you know? Oh, do be careful, Piglet. This caramel is quite sticky and I... I seem to have found myself, um... Rather, uh, stuck in it. And it would be so bothersome if we both got stuck. Don't you think? But, Pooh, how did you get stuck in the caramel? Well, you see, I was searching for some money, and Rabbit thought this might be a good place to search. Well, Rabbit sabotaged us. Me. But now that I think about it some more, I could be mistaken. Hold on, Pooh. I'll get you out. That would be very nice. Thank you, Piglet. I suppose a stick might be useful. All right, let's get, let's get Pooh a stick. Uh, I think we saw a stick back here on the ground, didn't we? There we go, pick up the stick. This stick is bigger than we are though. Can we even carry it? Dang it, look at Piglet. Piglet the lollipop stick might be quite handy. Have you found us anything such as a stick yet? Yes. Piglet? Yes, I have. Okay, I guess I gotta the pull it out first. Stick would play a rather large part in helping Piglet. Okay, you gotta go in the circle and then press whatever oh, oh, item button. I'll do my best to inspect you. <laughs> oh, Bruh. Mr. Piglet. You see, I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for um standing in him. Now let's find Who would have guessed? I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. I don't know, man. Isn't it Rabbit's fault that you kinda got stuck in the first place? Do you really think you should be taking more Come advice on, from, from him? Follow me. I'm thinking maybe not, I don't know. Can I go in the caramel? No. Nah, I can't. So, I mean, like, is Pooh gonna go eat all that cotton candy? Is that how we gonna get through that other area? Because we were kind of blocked off from going anywhere else, right? Whenever we were over here looking at stuff earlier. But now that we got Pooh, maybe he can just, like, chug all that stuff down. Let us on in. The areas look fairly detailed. But, I mean, y'all so know how I am with loading screens friend, Pooh, and short cutscenes. Oh, brother. Piglet, there seems to be some cotton candy blocking the door. However, shall we get through? Eat it. Think, think. Eat I it. Do believe I've seen this cake before. Just take that and, and put it in your mouth. If here, then Rabbit must be over there. Will he be able to help us find the honey? Oh yes, Rabbit always has a smackerel or two of honey. <laughs> now how shall we get through this cotton candy? Think, eat it. Think. I suppose we could eat it. There you go. Oh, oh Pooh, there's much too much to eat. No, yes, shut up. Of course you're right, Pig. Just but eat it. Shall we get to the other side then? Fine. We'll have to use our brains. <laughs> Squirt it. Squirt it with some water. Come here, Pooh. I need you to hit this switch for me. Oh, I don't have any items anymore. Can I, like, tell Pooh what to do? Oh, wait. Search for cookies? Hey, we got some cookies. Yeah, give them here. All of them. No, don't go away. Trash. Come back. They're my cookies and I want them. No, pick it up. Pick it up. I didn't know we could search random objects. There was what, 125 cookies or something? So is that the only thing our kick is used for? We're not like fighting off enemies or anything. We just gotta we just gotta kick stuff to get them cookies, man. I didn't realize that's where cookies came from. I thought you had to like cook them or something. Because you could just go around kicking shit and picking them up.
Pooh, I need you to press this button for Pooh me because I am too small. There must be a way to get through this cotton candy. Perhaps Owl will know what to do. Oh, of course. Go talk to Owl. Owl can press the button for me. <laughs> okay, we are back. The ad has ran. And there we go. We have 15 emotes from, <laughs> from Better Twitch TV, including the blob one that I've already forgotten the name of. Blob Dance <laughs> that Mr. Noodle seems to love. So for those that are curious, we have Cat Jam, uh, Omega Lol, Vibe, Cat Kiss, Party Kirby, Didi Huh, We Smart, Sad Cat, Confused Cat, Wait What, Bongo Tap, Blob Dance, Hop Cat, Press F, and Pika OMG are what we have <laughs> that way case anyone yeah <laughs> case case anyone uh needed needed to know for some reason there you go that's what we have can i i wish i could check and see how many points <laughs> nate has i kind of want to duel him just to see if we can take all of his points <laughs> uh, all right uh last time we went to tanglewood we got kind of fucked do we try again i guess we try again why not yeah, there, you have to have a certain extension installed for them to pop up in your personal chat. That's why it's not popping up for you, love. Um, yeah, but you reloaded twice. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, you have to install it in Chrome uh, for it to pop up. The reason why it, it pops up in, in my chat is because I have a, a Chrome extension installed. Um, and the reason it pops up in, in the, the stream on the stream is because uh, an option that I have on the, the thing for the stream uh, makes it pop up there. That's that's all. Yeah. So, I mean, at least you can still see them on the screen, but there's nothing I can really do about it not showing up on your computer. Uh, okay, excuse me, game. I thought we hit the button to... To steal life? Can we not steal life from from ghosts? I mean, they are ghosts, but like... <laughs> uh, is this not the vampire sword that I have equipped? I'm confused. That's definitely the vampire sword. I'm, I'm hitting the button. I'm trying to steal life, because otherwise we dead, boys. Why, why steal life no work? Oh god, we're we're so dead, dude. <laughs> we're so fucked. Uh What are what are you? Are you a non-ghost creature maybe? You are. Can I steal life from you? Nope, that didn't work. Okay, so we are not going here. We are running the hell away. We're going back to Hom. <laughs> See if we can buy some more potions and then maybe we'll check out one of the dungeon like looking levels. Agatha, potion me, please. The Forgotten. I wonder if the Forgotten are the, the ghost-like creatures. Dungeon Hunt. Recover the Sacred Chalice from the third level of the dungeon and place it on the pedestal in Rygard. I don't want to go to Rygard, though. <laughs> if we go to Rygard, we're dead. There's like a level A dude there or something. Ancient Forest. Oh, God. Okay, whatever. I mean, we'll go. Maybe we'll level up while we're there or something. No, oh, dude, these guys are dying so much easier. At least this is like an actual level, it looks like, right? Like on the little mini map, I can see a little little walkway for us to travel along. There's areas we can't travel along, so this is something. This is more or less what I was hoping the rest of the game would be like. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much convinced at this point seeing this, that they were going for Diablo clone, but just did it very poorly. I'm, I'm convinced. What was that? I would like to also re-equip our boots because, I don't know, I guess we like to jump. We jumping, boys. Let's go. See, I'm a, I'm a sucker for, for Diablo-like games, just, you know, action-heavy CRPG-style games. So this is right up my alley, but, dude, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm conflicted. I honestly don't know what I'm going to rate it yet, dude. 
because there there's some obvious problems with it okay we can't we can't overlook that we can't deny that but at the same time it is the type of game or a type of game that i enjoy dungeon crawlers and shit anything hidden are there like chests or anything that we can find because that would that would go a long way towards making the game more fun you're gonna get your shower enjoy a shower love i need to get one of those two at some point tonight uh, probably not while I'm streaming, though. I think maybe we'll wait until after the stream to, uh, <laughs> to get a shower. Oh, are you? Yes. Yes, I am. I mean, it's been hot out. Even though, like, inside the store where I work hasn't been too bad. It's been warmer than usual, but not too bad. Dude, you just walk outside and it's, like, sweat. <laughs> it's gross. I hate summer. I like summer because it's good for, you know, outdoor activities. The weather's usually clear and you can you can do things outside. But I hate summer because of the heat and there's so much sun. Why does the sun need to be visible until like 9 o'clock at night, dude? No. The sun needs to go down at like 6. <laughs> we don't need all that. Just shower stream and play game all at once. <laughs> I mean, I don't have a camera yet or uh, at least not turned on yet. So, so... Technically, I could. The delay is going to be terrible. Because <laughs> the only way I'll be able to see my screen is from, like, watching my own stream on the... <laughs> on, uh, on my phone or something like that. I do have a couple extension cords for my... For my PS2 controller. I don't think it'll quite stretch all the way downstairs to the shower, but we could try. We're picking up all kinds of stuff. Is any of it good? I kind of wish it told us what we were picking up, or at least, like, what level it was. No, it's all it's all junk. But the outdoors suck? I, they're not that bad. Oh, we can destroy that wall. I'm guessing that red thing with the arrow down is the stairs down to level two? You can do it. I believe in you. Thanks, man. That's all we need is some belief. I still don't understand the point of the jump. I haven't seen a single spot yet. We're jumping would come in handy. You know what it's making me think of right now is like a roguelike. If there was a uh, an eating system, if we needed to eat and drink, do you want me to wait to shower? Uh, sure. It's up to you. I don't care. If you want to get it now, you can. Oh, there are chests. Uh, game? I opened the chest. Did I get something? Did, uh, you can't just open a chest and not... Well... Dude, <laughs> what kind of bullshit was that? That was, a, that was a chest. I opened the chest. I want things. Give me stuff, dude. I did the work. I opened your damn chest. <laughs> Give me prizes. I want shinies. <laughs> okay, so we got a bunch of crafting material. I don't know. We're just going to go down to the next floor. We could... We could explore this this dungeon forever and I, I don't know if it would ever do anything oh we can zoom in and out of the map that's actually pretty handy hey noodle thank you so much for the 10 bits love so much more than your usual five give me the money wait what what was that about give me the money oh because we opened the chest is that you want money because we opened the chest i'm confused i'm lost Feel like feel like I need an adult. Might be Rob. Give her money. I can't. I can't, I can't just. I don't. <laughs> you said shiny thing, so I thought money. Yes, the gold doubloons. Give me some gold doubloons. <laughs> Wait, were there were there monsters hanging in that weird thing? How do we zoom in the map? There it is. I like. I like how when the map zoomed in it shows us the little icons for stuff i like i like seeing the monsters in the distance and and the things that we can blow up <laughs> nate's back up to eight points you know what that means guys it's probably time for a heist Oh, nope, he's just going straight to gamble. <laughs> I think there's a minimum on the gamble of, like, 10 points. Nope, he gambled. He tried to gamble, but he failed. <laughs> like I said, I think you have to have at least 8 points to be allowed to gamble. 
There's the heist. <laughs> there it is. Somebody help the poor guy out. Chest. I, is the chest giving us stuff? I honestly don't know. Did the money go up when we opened it? Oh, game. You had you had potential. But you but you fell flat, dude. Okay, random dead end. Nothing. Excellent. Uh, you know I got to get in on this, dude. Heist, uh. 1469. Seems like a good. Wait, what? Do I not have that many points? I lose all my points. No, I have plenty of points. Oh, you know what? Maybe there's a. Maybe there's a limit on how high you can go. Uh. 690. There we go. Gotta get my own points up there, man. red thing on the <laughs> that's our health bar <laughs> uh public public service announcement if your sperm looks like the red thing on the side of the screen seek help and seek it soon please i think there might be something wrong so are these sorted by level maybe oh we have a broadsword now bonus damage on dead also dispels ghosts and fiends what dude okay so that's handy i don't think IRL, a broadsword would be any more useful against a, a ghost than any other kind of sword, but uh, hey, whenever we come across some ghosts, at least now we might have a way of dealing with them. So I'll, I'll accept it. <laughs> Go to a doctor. Maybe it's vampy sperm. I don't think it works that way. Hey, everyone win. Oh, except for me. What the hell, dude? How did I die? Everything's fine. It's already been 26 years, dude. See a doctor. <laughs> Nate lived. I'm the only one that died that time. I call bullshit. Uh, we're just gonna go down. Lost 18 points and now has zero. Good job, Nate. <laughs> oh. Gotta get that cat jam in. Hell yeah, dude. Jam away, guys. Can we get a uh, blob party up in here? I think that's what it was. Was it called Blob Party? I think it. I think it's Blob Party. Lowercase Blob, uppercase Party, uppercase PN Party. There we go. There we go, dude. Blob Party. <laughs> I want to see them blobs dancing, dude. Lost 100 points. Wow, dude. I don't think I can configure like the chances for. Uh... Oh, shit. For the... S <laughs> for slots or for the, the gamble as I watch Rue just lose 600 points. Okay, chest. We have 364 gold. We got fuck all. Awesome. What are the points of the chest then? Every single time we've opened a chest, we haven't gotten shit from it. It's useless, dude. I think Wednesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. What am I doing Wednesday? Oh fuck, I got a dance point on Wednesday. Well if I'm not if I have time on Wednesday, maybe I'll look into uh making a Twitch bot. See how long it's actually gonna take me to do. So we can we can do more more fun stuff. The hardest part will probably be implementing a uh, point system, but I don't think that should be too hard. Eight ball is on a cooldown for 20. Why is eight ball on a cooldown? Did somebody else use the eight ball and I missed? You have a dance point on Wednesday too? What are the chances, dude? I'm just getting uh, a couple fillings and uh, I think maybe a cleaning. I don't know how that works, like on the same day, but I don't know. I'm not a dentist. general cleaning for you yeah i hate the dentist not because like going to the dentist bother me but because of the way the healthcare system works in 
you know, America, where I have a healthcare plan and it doesn't cover dentist appointments. Like, what's that meme that I always see pop up? Like, teeth are luxury bones that I have to pay extra to, to keep? Like, <laughs> that's stupid as hell, man. Pisses me off. Like, I already pay for health insurance. Why the hell are my teeth not covered as part of that? They're a part of my body. Same with my eyes, like, or just with eyes in general. It's not just mine. Everyone's eyes, like, bruh. Why do I have to pay extra to see things? That's that's part of my body. That's part of my health last time I checked. That should just be covered under my health insurance. It's so dumb. It irritates the hell out of me. Dentist is awesome, but damn, you won't be able to afford it without Medicaid. Yeah. I have dental insurance, thankfully, because otherwise there's no chance in how I'd be able to afford it either. Even with dental insurance, though, it's like a minimum of like $50 a visit or something like that. And then like, I uh, had to get a cap on one of my teeth and that was like $600, $700 or something like that. And like the actual dental part was only like 300 or something, you know, the actual them, them fixing the tooth and, and putting it on and whatnot. It was another like 400 for the stupid cap, this little tiny enamel thing that they made uh, after, you know, molding my tooth and having it sent in and all that shit, like, dumb. Half tempted to just tell him to rip it out, <laughs> like, or was half tempted to just tell him to rip it out, because, holy hell, dude. Remember, they told me how much it was gonna be, but I was in a lot of pain at the time, because, uh, I had a small infection in my tooth. Uh, well, under my tooth. At, at the nerve site so they were like here's some antibiotics that should stop the pain but uh you're probably gonna end up with this problem again unless we you know fix the tooth and we can either rip it out or you can pay 700 dollars. and i was just like dude i'd rather keep the fucking tooth but i'm in a lot of pain and they're like well you won't feel anything once we you know do the root canal and, and cap it off and i'm like fuck it dude <laughs> 700 dollars. here we go i guess holy hell Bullshit is what it is. Hey, we actually got something from the chest. I didn't think it was possible. Uh, okay, so we got a couple axes now. Chaos axe, which does fire damage 22%. A regular axe, which does bonus damage to mutants. What is this? Is this a... No, no, that's another broadsword. It doesn't look like a broadsword. It looks like a dagger. Oh, a new vampire sword. A level 4 one. Please and thank you. It's not sorted by level. Well, that's not annoying or anything. How level are these bracers? One. Fuck that. We got a new shirt. Just leather armor. Level three. Junk. All junk. That's what it is. What level were we supposed to get to for our quest? It probably says in here, right? Cover the sacred chalice from the third level. Okay, so we need to find the sacred chalice on i think the level oh no wait we're on level four we got to go back a level actually hold on where was the entrance might as well kill this thing i think it was this way does it show us when we zoom out no lame the whole healthcare system is dumb agreed agreed man Entrance. Entrance to the mine. Mine? Dungeon? Whatever the fuck this is. My god, I think every level gets bigger, which, I mean, is how you would expect it to work, but also just, like, want to get the hell out of here. Find the sacred chalice and see what the hell it does. You know, if the game had a story, I think I'd be much more forgiving of it, honestly. Oh, hi, Thief. Oh, is that, was that the sacred chalice? Did I, did I just get it? Was it just, yep, it was just given to me. Okay. So, I guess we should probably go down to level four before we leave, because it seems to save what level we're on. And then we go to Rygard and probably get our shit fucked up. Get some Big Burger World, though? What is that? What is Big Burger World? I'm assuming that's like a, a food place out uh, where, you, where you at. Hmm. 
Are you are you a mutant? What kind of creature are you? Holy hell, you're you're strong. That's what you are. Holy hell, you are you are way strong, dude. It's a local burger joint that's delicious. What is this? Life seed. Oh. Cool. Okay, so that's the thing that we want to put here. Too bad Rygard's being attacked by a giant, and <laughs> our stuff doesn't seem strong enough to deal with it. Uh, I'd rather all these people didn't die, but I think they're gonna die, dude. Do we have... I don't know what kind of weapon to use on you. Oh my god, why? Okay. Oh god. We're fine. They can, they can kill him, right? There we go. <laughs> He's dead. The townsfolk really did all the work, but it's fine. You look angry. Bonus damage to mutants. Wait a second. Let's sell some of our own shit. Saber level three. Saber level two. Sell the saber level two. Saber level two. Saber level one. Saber level one. Level one. Oh my god, so many sabers. Uh, I don't know. The other one looks cooler, I guess. So we'll keep it. Vampire sword level two. Sell that. Mace level three. Axe level four, chaos ass. I mean, I like that that one does fire damage, but I don't know. Leather armor three, bracer level one. Okay, so that's that's everything from here. Where where's the thing? Where do we put the chalice? Burger sounds so good right now. I agree, dude. Burgers almost always sound good though. Am I blind, or is there no... Oh, here it is. It's just dark as shit. Quest completed. Military plus seven. Life chalice power level one. The chalice has been returned. Yes, it has. Seek the life seed to gain life force. I mean, I have one, though. Do I have to use it? Oh, wait. Did it take my life seed? Maybe it took my life seed whenever I put the thing in. Just automatically or something. Okay. Uh, Adam, did you have a quest? You did. A battle quest. Challenge suck 'em bad. <laughs> the level eight vampire in West West Haven. West Haven. I don't want to fight any more level eight stuff, dude. <laughs> We're gonna die if we keep fighting level eight stuff. We are not that powerful. I see whenever we go to the start screen here that, like, the stats are going up, right? Research is at level 6, military is at level 14, economics at 0. But what do they do? Is there... Hold on. There's. Do I have the manual for this game? I do. Check the manual. That's... It's an old game. That's what you do in old games, right? You are entrusted with the defense of the common folk from the oppressive monsters who seek to enslave the world of Goth Gothus. You have only one year to prepare yourself to fight an awesome phone known as the Shadow Lord. That's why the, the little tracker's down there. But with faith, courage, and careful planning, you will succeed. Take some time to familiarize yourself with your arsenal and study the nature of the enemy. Your primary goals are to weaken the armies of monsters, rally the people to aid in their own defense, and gain the abilities and items you need to face the Shadow Lord. Okay. Um... So then there's a tiny bit of backstory. Bro, where was this story hiding? In the manual. <laughs> yeah, dude, there's some stuff in here. Holy shit. So there's a whole, like, five paragraphs on the Shadow Lord. There's two pages dedicated to Anna, the protagonist. Like, why is none of this just in the game? That would be nice. So, okay, all the different kinds of weapons. You can get rune swords, sabers, maces, scythes, vampire swords, broadswords, and axes. As well as pistols, repeaters, long shots, blasters that shoot bombs, lightning bombs, fire bombs, poison bombs. Explore the world. Saving your progress. Software licenses. So, no, it doesn't tell us what the hell the shit in the bottom is. I'm assuming the higher these numbers by the time we get attacked the better we'll be. But I was hoping, like, if we get our economic level up, maybe we would get more money or something like that, you know? I was hoping for something along those lines, but nope, fuck me, I guess. 
Uh, oh, fuck. I feel like if we go to West Haven right now, we're just dead. Because there's no way we can fight that level 8 vampire, right? I mean, we tried to fight a level 8 thing there, and... I mean, we just let the townspeople deal with it because we sure as hell couldn't. A level 5 scythe. What's the one? That's also level 5. Okay. Uh, we'll buy the potions because so far you're the only damn person that sells potions. Ms. Agatha. Uh, do any of our weapons do bonus damage to vampires? Bonus damage to mutants. Crush titans and slayers. Slice a bunch of stuff. Bonus damage to undead. Pierce vampires and ghouls. So maybe a saber is what we want to use. So we'll keep the vampire sword attached. Equip that as well. Throw to damage groups of monsters. I mean, I guess maybe that's good. What do the bullets do? Damage groups of monsters. Requires ammo. So fucking useless is what that is. Okay, whatever. We'll go to West Haven and hope for the best. Should probably save the game too. We haven't saved like at all. Oh, that was pretty quick. Turns out having a real PlayStation 2 memory card in the first slot might be nice. All right, suck them bad. <laughs> oh my god. Who names their creature suck them bad, dude? <laughs> I know this is set in the 1600s, but I'm pretty sure that wasn't like a common name in the 1600s. People weren't out there being named suck em bad. <laughs> I could be wrong. I'm no historian, but I, I, I don't think that's the, that's the case. Uh, why? No, don't mute. Mute off, yeah. How do I get out of here? My god, dude. I just want to drink shit. Try not to let Brody die. And, and Synth Smythe, Smithy. And, and the children. Oh god, the children. I don't think the vampire sir sword worked on sucking bad. Ooh, the stabby stab attack seems to work wonders, though. Uh, but we are completely out of out of stuff now, so... So, man, why do you focus on me? <laughs> Stop focusing on me, suck em bad. <laughs> focus on the other dudes. Oh, if I keep running around, though, maybe he'll keep focusing on me and, and leave the, the village people alone while they slowly beat the hell out of him so that they won't die. Hey, we actually did it. Okay, economic plus two. That's nice, I guess. Please accept this gold. I shall. Vampire sword. We have that already. I think the same level. No, ours is even better, so <laughs> fuck you. Uh, hi. Brave champion, you can raise the confidence. Beasts are stronger at night, we know. You're not scared, I don't believe you. Brody, what do you have, anything? Not even gonna give me anything for, for murdering all these dudes? Mr. Noodle with another five bits? Thank you, love. Uh, level five armor. I mean, we don't need it that bad. Level five boots, though. I think our boots are only level two. Does increase our experience gain, but I mean, guys, come on. Level five boots? You know we gotta do it. Plus, look at that. That's like some diamond ass armor or something. This dude also looks, I don't know, angry? Rescue quest. I mean, we'll try. Bring back Jenkins, Berkey, and Jono from the Badlands. Bruh, I don't like the Badlands. <laughs> the Badlands are bad. Oh, we're completely out of healing shit. Okay, put the boots in the top slot then <clears throat> yeah we'll do that boots in the top slot and then i guess go to the badlands i wish more of the quests took place in the dungeons though just because so far at least the dungeons are the most fun i've had in the game So it'd be nice if we were sent there more often instead of being sent to the fucking Badlands, just this giant area of nothingness where we can fight probably 50 dudes for nothing. It'd also be nice if there was some way to tell what kind of monsters these different things were. Like, are these mutants? Are these... what are they, you know? 
Oh, hey, music suddenly. <laughs> this is also a CD-based game, and I'm pretty sure it's a very early PS2 game. So to be fair to it, like, it, 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 it does have that going for it, right? It was probably, I don't know this to be true, but it was probably originally meant to be like a PS1 game or some shit, and then got ported over to the PS2. So, like, I'll say that much. Get that riff going again. I wish it was up to me, man. <laughs> When the music played. I would have the music playing constantly, but it's not up to me. It just happens randomly like that. Hear that or an N64? Did the PS2 come out before or after the N64? I feel like it came out before, but... Yeah, there's just like random rift and then nothing. Random rift and then nothing. It's, it's great around the same time I think you're probably right to be honest I mean I know it was within like a year or two of each other at least but I feel like we are using the wrong sword type to fight these dudes but I honestly don't know what the right sword type is because I don't know what kind of monsters these fucking are I was hoping maybe the manual would give us some hint like this is how you can tell the different monster types apart or something but no, the manual gave us fuck all, dude. I want to steal your life, please. Did that work? Uh, I can't actually tell if that stole any life force or not. I think we just decapped that. Decap? Decapitated that dude? It's four years older at 1996? No shit. Wow, that actually really surprises me. I thought that they had came out within like a year or two of each other. Also, we're about dead. Uh, only six monsters left, but we have taken some damage, bro. Uh, are you summoning fire? You are. I need, I need health. I don't think we have any health potions though. Nope. Uh, I think this is GG for us, dude. Oh God. Fire, no. Fire, bad. Okay, 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 okay. Jump! <laughs> just, just, just keep jumping! <laughs> just, just run and jump! That's all we can do! Oh god, I don't have any way to get health back, man. Nope, we're dead. Fuck, so close, dude. There were only three monsters left. But... From the looks of it, all that does, us dying, is waste some time. The villagers were recaptured. So does that mean we have to restart from the beginning? Of that quest? I'm assuming that's a yes. But do they also come back to life? Because they were all dead. <laughs> just, just throwing that out there, man. <laughs> Like, I mean, if you want to resurrect them for me and give me another chance, then that's that's fine. I don't mind that. I think, honestly, if they are all alive down here at this point, I'm just checking for my own curiosity. I think we're going to go to another dungeon just to try and get some more levels, because, yeah. No, so only Jenkins is alive, so that means, yeah, that it's probably almost done, so... So there's no penalty for dying at all except time. Which, I mean, I guess when... You were so close to a level up. That's stupid. Uh, I guess whenever the whole point of the game is get as strong as possible with one year, within one year, that uh, losing a bunch of time probably would actually suck pretty hard. Do you think we can tank on Tanglewood now? That we have that... What is it? The axe or broadsword? Whatever it is that... actually damages ghosts Ooh, level 7 leather armor and level 7 saber which should be better than what we have by a lot actually oh that's 414 gold though fuck me dude okay you know what never mind I don't think we're gonna buy any of your shit brody Blair smith smith smithy what do you have? Is that a vampire sword? Moon vampire sword. Increases spirit by 25%. Level 7. Ours is level 4. Can we afford it? We can. 
Not enough resources. Oh, we need nine crystal skulls. How many do we have? Two. Okay, yeah, I'm not buying that. Never mind. Uh, I guess we'll take another quest of battle. Tanglewood level eight fiend. We know how to deal with those. It's called don't. Just let the villagers do it. Uh... Okay, let's go to Hom. It's close to Necropolis or whatever anyways, and we know that we can buy health potions here. So let's do that. Good old Agatha here will help us out. You got to go to bed, Rue. Have a good night, man. Thank you for coming and hanging out with us for a bit while you could. Appreciate you. Quest donate gold. Donate 269 gold to help your village. Okay. I guess. I mean, we don't have much gold, but... We'll do what we can. I'm assuming it'll, it'll it'll repay for itself in some way. I don't know, though. We might have just wasted it. Thank you for dealing with my email wanting bullshit. It's no problem, man. I, if I had known before that it wasn't working, I would have uh, fixed it before, honestly. I didn't realize... Like I said, I never used Better Twitch TV as a, as a streamer. I only ever used it as a user. So I never had to uh, add emotes to my channel with from there before i just you know just yeah. used them specifically the, the global emotes i guess all right so it seems like the different areas have different kinds of enemies and also different material spawn right hey what's up howdy or howdy <laughs> hattie um because like the the last area we were in was more like mutants and shit maybe and then it was dropping a lot of that that ooze resource, whereas this one here is dropping more of like those crystal skulls, and it seems you know kind of gothic interior ghosts and and things. So it's a little bit a little bit different. Gameplay looks kind of boring to play. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not my favorite. I mean, it's it's like Diablo esque, but not not as good immediately. Um, I personally love Diablo like games. My biggest problem with the game so far has just been the complete lack of actual story in the game. There's a little bit in the in the manual for it, but just barely. Like, never played Diablo, really? I mean, if you're not a computer guy, I guess that, that probably makes sense. It was obviously huge on, on PC back in the day. It did get ports for consoles and things, but I don't know how well the, the console ports... Well, I don't know how well they play or how well they sold or anything. You have no computer yet. Yeah, and that's that's what... If you don't have a computer to play games on, especially, you know, back in the 90s whenever Diablo came out, then I can totally see why uh, <laughs> why you have no interest in Diablo. But this this whole this whole game is very CRPG, computer RPG-esque in the way that it uh, feels and plays. Like, I generally like those types of games, but this is, this is definitely a... Uh, B tier <laughs> CRPG. Uh, what is shooting us? There's a ghost. Why are you not appearing on the mini map? Maybe ghosts just don't appear on the mini map as enemies? Yeah, I guess not, because there's another one and it's not appearing up there. Kind of makes sense, I guess. You know, they, they are ghosts after all. We should have enough of those skulls now to get that, that vampire sword. Oh shit. No, we can't because we uh, donated all of our money to that town. So that's not going to happen. Never mind. So I think it was like 450 gold or something like that. We only have 320. So not much at all. It seems like all these bags of gold that we're picking up have one. <laughs> I'm assuming that'll get better as we get deeper into the, the dungeon. We're only on level one in this particular dungeon, so guess it's kind of ridiculous to expect too much. You prefer gameplay over story, but sometimes there are games that you enjoy the story, and that's what's been keeping me playing it. Same, honestly, and, and I generally feel the same way. I mean, Mario, for instance, is one of my favorite games of all time, and the story in that's nothing. Uh, <laughs> you know, oh no, the princess has been captured again. You better go save her. That's the entirety of the story. But, uh, the gameplay in this one is is subpar, I feel like, at least compared to, to other games in the same genre. Um, 
and that's that's why I wish I had a little bit of a story. Plus, like, it's an RPG game, you know? Like, I, I don't know. To me, an RPG game should have some semblance of story. We literally clicked the new game button on the, the title screen, and we were just dropped right into a town that was being attacked. And we were expected to start fighting, and that was that was it. That's We got no explanation or anything. A tiny bit of text from the villagers saying that, you know, we're not strong enough to fight off these monsters, or you're our only hope, things like that. But nothing to explain the world or the characters or why the hell we're doing what we're doing. Just a, uh, a couple paragraphs hidden in the in the manual, and that's it. Just kind of, just meh. Just, just die, guys, all of you. I think we're gonna try and make it down to the next level before we, before we leave this one. We haven't actually tried it yet, but I'm assuming whenever we exit out of a uh, dungeon and return to it, that we go back to whatever level we left on. Because that, that one that we made it down to like level four in seemed to, seemed to save our progress. At least whenever we left, it said level four on it. Ooh, is that weapon better for ghosts? It does seem to maybe be damaging them more. I should, since we're here, switch to the one that said it hurts ghosts more. Broadsword, that's the one. Dispel ghosts and fiends. It's only level one, though, so I don't know if it's actually worth using or not. I guess there's only one way to find out. Wait until we find a ghost and freaking smack it. Oh, that was the wrong button. <laughs> I meant to smack it with the broadsword. I wanted to see if it worked, damn it. Caught is a middle ground for me where some of the games... Uh, okay, for a level one weapon, I feel like it was doing a lot of damage, but overall it wasn't that amazing. Cod's a middle ground for me where some of the games have phenomenal stories like Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 2. But the game for play can get a little bit stale. I think, personally, I think the, the only reason the gameplay for Call of Duty feels stale is uh, because each game is, is so similar to each other from a gameplay perspective, right? Story-wise, they're all fairly different, and uh, most of them are actually pretty interesting, in my opinion. But... Again, every game plays almost exactly the same, so it's like, I don't know, I just get tired of it. And I'm not a huge online gamer anyways, you know, I tend to play games on uh, single player for the most part. So, the, the whole online shooter aspect of it doesn't appeal much to me. These days, when I was younger, dude, Call of Duty was the shit. That's basically all I played. But uh, eventually, I started getting tired of it, and I just couldn't anymore. <laughs> like, man, got tired of coming home from college or work or whatever and just doing the same thing every single day with uh, with Call of Duty. Had to branch out a little bit. All right, let's, uh, we, we made it to level four or whatever. We'll clear the ghost that's attacking us and this one dude that's on the mini-map. Let's go back to... Hom, so we can buy a couple more potions and then uh, to the forest, I guess. That's where our quest is. It's also where we got messed up repeatedly, though, so I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll try it. Another rescue quest. This one from the fourth level of the dungeon. Save Benal and Tom Saul from the fourth level of the dungeon. Oh, from the Lost City dungeon. I think that's the one we just came from. Damn it, dude. I didn't want to go back there. Uh, do I kind of wish we had a slight? Oh wait. Oh, because this is like a rescue. Holy shit, dude! We are taking a ton of damage. Uh, I was excited for a moment because we weren't fighting the ghosts that were kicking our ass, but now we have this giant thing that is doing a lot of damage. Uh, do we have better armor yet? Chain armor, level four. What are we wearing? I think we're wearing level four. Yep, nope, that's not going to do shit for us. Okay, you know what? I think, I think we run away from there. <laughs> I guess we do go back to that dungeon we just came out of, actually, after we talk to Agatha and get some more some more healing potions. 
Oh, is it talking to Agatha? Is that what heals us? Oh, we're at our limit. Lame. Okay. Because I saw that we only had like a quarter of our health or whatever until we until we talked to her and then suddenly it jumped up to, to max. Oh, no, this, this is a different one. I'm an idiot. This is a different dungeon entirely. What time is it? 150? No, I don't think we have time to get down to level four. Yeah, we gotta we gotta start wrapping this up. Although, oh, the stairs down are right here, literally. No, no, there's no way. There's no way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit. I do appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed uh, Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. It's a game. It's not amazing by any means, but it's also not terrible. I wouldn't mind playing more of it, but I think it just doesn't have enough oomph behind it to really make it worth my time. For that reason, I think I'm going to rate it meh. So I don't know who chose meh as the rating, uh, the prediction in the beginning, but whoever did, congratulations. You get, you get some points uh, <laughs> awarded to you. For everybody else, thanks for just coming and hanging out with me. Hattie said, I think it's the AI and linear missions that, like World at War, has the Japanese to spice up the gameplay or how Black Ops 2 uh, CW, I don't know what that one is. Infinite War all have optional missions and different enemy types and gameplay types. It's the AI and linear missions. Oh, okay. See, World at War is one of the only ones from like the classic ones that I haven't played. Cold War, okay. Okay, okay, okay. I played, uh, that's the only one that I skipped out of the classic, like, PS3 enough. I played Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3, Black Ops 1 and 2, um, skipped, uh, World at War, and then I didn't play any of them after that. <laughs> so I don't have any particular, uh, opinion on Cold War or Infinite War or whatever the hell that one's called. Optional missions, different enemy types. That's, that's fun, though. That is pretty cool. Yeah, they should definitely have more of that in the games. Just, like, side stuff that you can do. Helps, uh... Uh, what's, what's the word? Helps diversify what you're doing, right? Helps give just different experiences. Things to sidetrack yourself from the main story if you get tired of it or whatever. My brain's a little fried at the moment. I can't think of exactly the words that I'm trying to think of. But yes. Yeah, no, that's definitely, that's definitely good. Infinite Warfare has flying sections that are open and good. That's cool, like actual open ones. Because I remember like in the other ones, I can't think of these specific games. But most of the time, whenever you're flying around, you're really just, you know, you're not flying around. You're just along for the ride on a, a shooter, a rail shooter, basically. You know, you're manning the gun. They're flying you somewhere. you got to shoot the things on the ground. And that's that's pretty much it. You don't actually get to fly the, the helicopter or whatever around. So that's pretty cool. One of these days, I want to go back to the... Call of Duty franchise and, and check them out at least for the uh the whatchamacallit the the storylines of the games don't care so much about the the online sections but the story is fun that's I played all the other ones that that I mentioned and I had fun with them so why not but anyways guys like I was saying we are wrapping it up there for the last time thank you all for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit we will be back tomorrow with some Odin Sphere maybe wrapping that game up it's hard to say for sure because the end of the game's actually getting pretty difficult i gotta admit i was hoping to get to the to the prologue to the end of the game last week but that didn't pan out so well so hopefully this week we'll at least get to the prologue if not finish up the game and then uh as far as the podcast goes jonathan and i have to talk a little bit to figure out what day that's gonna be on since we weren't able to do it tonight but we're gonna try and uh do our episode on jack three at some point this this epilogue thank you yes yes the epilogue not the prologue uh but we're gonna try and do that sometime this week since i uh or he wasn't able to do it because of a, a work thing that that came up uh but as always guys thank you for coming and hanging out be kind to each other and i will see you next time Bye bye I just want someone to press the button, please.